Welcome back everybody. We are up to the next stage in your dancing journey. In fact, it's the last stage in this sort of raw beginner series for the basic waltz. Because what I want to do is complete our previous lessons with the hesitation change. Now the hesitation change is essentially the first three steps of a natural turn with a very important step at the end called the heel pull. Now at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you how to do that, what to focus on as the man, uh, because it's a really technical step, but it's really good for you to know. Now if you dance New Vogue ladies, pay attention to the end as well, because the heel pull ending is what you use in the Marilyn, the Lucille Waltz, and I think the Charmaine. So it will really help you if you do New Vogue. Now outside of that, it's awesome to have you back here. What have you felt throughout this journey of learning all of these dances this way? Are you getting better? Where are your sticking points? Let me know so we can curate more content for you that will actually help you through those challenges. You'll find some more videos on my channel as well that are a bit more specific to ballroom dancing, like how to walk or how to use your feet. So focus on those things if you need a little bit of extra love, but I'm going to suggest you do this. Are you ready? Rinse and repeat. Go back through the video more than once. It takes a little bit more than once to get it right. What do you reckon? Just a little touch. So with that being said, let's finish off with the hesitation change today. Here we go. Bigger names for the basic waltz with our with chasse and hesitation change. So, change step, natural turn. Our change step, then our reverse turn. Now, the whisk, and then chasse from promenade into the natural turn which is the first three steps of the hesitation change, and then a heel pull at the end to finish off the basic waltz. Timing for the basic waltz with the wish chasse and hesitation change. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boom. I want you to try this, Ready? hand up in the air. Oh yeah, give this one a little shake, what's going on, and boom, self high five. Yeah, see, you can't help but laugh, even if you're so resistant, it'll make you laugh. Do that every time you make a mistake because you've got to, right? You're gonna make so many mistakes learning to dance. So it's so important that you congratulate yourself for getting this far. And I hope you can see how we've built this up now. And each video has had a principle, okay? From the very first two steps you took with us from the Raw Beginner Part 1 series right up to now, we've actually created an entire routine throughout that teaching you how to turn, how to step, how to close, and of course what to focus on for promenade and how to close that. And now, to finish it off, we have to get around a corner. <laughs> eventually, I mean, this is a big hole, but eventually you hit a stage, right? Eventually you hit something, coffee table, depends where you dance. But the point is, you gotta know how to turn. Now, one quick thing I wanna share with you is that if you look at the floor here, for example, there are, there are, this is the only time I'll let you look at the floor, right? So there are lines here. And so you see this big one coming down the room towards you, let's call that the line of dance. Now, the line of dance follows it's an invisible circle, essentially. An invisible line that follows the entire room. So there's a center to the floor, there's a wall, and so when we're dancing, we literally dance down a corridor. Now, when you get to the corner of a room, what you have to do in your head 
is you literally have to then face a new line of dance. So now if I'm this way, that cross here, this line now goes across the room to that wall. That is my new line of dance. Now, why does that matter? Well, because your waltz, everything you've done can be danced on any part of the room, okay? Any part of the floor. What you have to re try and do as the man is you always find where the wall is, face the wall, get close to the wall, and then you can turn diagonal to wall and you can commence your natural turn, your change step, your natural turn and your waltz. Now, if you go to a new line of dance, so the next corner, so now I'll t take it here as an example, okay? Well, that's my wall, there's diagonal to wall, bang. My waltz will now carry me that way. If I get to that side of the floor, I do the same thing, and now I can commence it again. If I get to that corner, I can then diagonal to wall again, and I can go that way. So what ends up happening is your routine goes around uh, co continuously anti-clockwise. All right, so why does that matter? Well, when you do this hesitation, the hesitation itself, right, what did you do? You did your chasse, and then you do your natural turn. So the natural turn here backs the line of dance. Then the hesitation itself is the heel pull. So I go back, I turn on that left foot, and I'm now diagonal to wall on my new line of dance. So I actually turn the corner. Now you don't have to, if you have a big room, where I am right now, I can now do any reverse figure. So like a, a reverse turn would be an example. But the point is where we dance this and how we danced it for your benefit was we're basically turning a corner. And so now you repeat the routine with a change step and now you can continue with your natural turn. This is why you need to know the names people because otherwise, how the hell are you gonna follow? But the point is, is that hesitation gets you around the corner. Okay, so how do we do the heel pull? Get ready for a world of technique pain. This is so frustrating. This step takes years to master. I don't care what anyone tells you. This takes years to master. It's very difficult. But it's a type of heel turn and it's uniquely danced by the man in ballroom. But in New Vogue, the lady actually dances it as well. So what happens is I'll stand with my feet together. You go back on the left foot first on the toe, right? And then the heel. Now the trick is, ready? Let's try that. So back on the toe and then the heel. Brittany can work this one with me. Now the trick is here. When I do that, my body should start rotating or turning to the right. And so as I go back on the toe and the heel, I then need to commence the turn. Can you just wag your left foot? Boom, right? So that ball of foot is where I start my turn and I turn on the left foot completely, right? Now, if you lift your right foot up off the floor, your weight should have been still in that left foot. All the turns made through the left foot. Okay, now with the right foot, you're on the inside edge of the foot. The knees are bent, you do not rise and you put the heel down, because it's inside edge, let's toe heel, and then you pull the left foot with the toe only, and you brush without weight. Now this is very heavy, but I'm gonna give it all to you right now, because I'm not gonna see you again on this video. So what you gotta think about is, first of all, the knees stay down, so there's no rise. That already makes the step different, because you rise on two and three in once. So we stay down. The knees veer inwards. Can you do that with your arms? Boom, veer, they V inwards. And as they bend down and they stay down, it allows your weight to be balanced on the right foot. You brush your left foot with pressure to help you stabilize. And here's the hesitation. Count two and then three. So on three, you're waiting there. And that basically creates a unique uh, sort of, not problem, but a unique technical point. When you have a hesitation, you use the same foot twice. So because you haven't changed feet, right, like you do in all the other steps, you're about to use the same foot twice. So you have to pay attention to the count. It's gonna go one, then that's two, and then you brush on three, and then forward on one. So it's a very challenging step. And the main rule to think about is that you go back on your left foot on the toe, you start turning in the ball of the foot, the foot is flat, you keep the turn going through the heel to your desired three-eighths, pizza, pizza, baby, right? Three-eighths of a turn and then you step to the side and brush. So you can see why it's hard, because you've got to do this a lot, especially with the lady. Now, if I do that again, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go back again, so one more, one, then to the side for two, then brush on three, forward on one. Okay, now what are the ladies doing? So ladies, you're going forward on the right foot, it's important you do not rise. So your steps are quite straightforward in this sense, just don't rise. You go forward on the heel, then the toe, without rising, but I want you to think of turning through that toe. Okay, so that, yeah, so you step forward and turn, jump, there, that's it, that's it, because that allows you to help the man with his uh, heel turn, or heel pull. Now on the left, the left foot like that, that's it, beautiful, you now let it land, toe heel, inside edge, toe heel, and brush the right foot for three. 
So you still got your three steps, one, two, and three, you're brushing together. That's it. The main thing is do not rise, ladies. Your head will stay to the left the whole time. So as you can imagine, the hesitation change like brings together such a uh, complex variation of movements. But if we do it right, all right, she'll come forward. So one, I created all my turn, then two, we can step together, then brush on three. All right, it's hard to do without swing, but that was actually quite good. So you can feel how it works together. So here's the big tip. Okay, so make sure you practice this, guys, on your left foot. So you wanna go back and turn on your left foot because the mistake that most men make, ready? One, they use the right foot to do all the work. See how my feet are apart? And then they transfer weight. You'll actually never make the step work. You always have to turn through that foot. I'm gonna just hammer that in, all right? And then brush. So that's your hesitation change. From the technical point of view, we've discussed all of that, what to focus on for the man and lady, but the reason you use that step, like what's the purpose of that step? One, turn a corner. Two, it's the quickest way to go from natural to reverse. So for those who have danced before, let me explain this one more time. When you do your natural turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, to get to a reverse figure, you need to change feet, hence the change step. One, two, three, and now I can do any reverse figure. Reverse turn, fall over reverse, double reverse spin, whatever. If I do a hesitation change, it negates the change step. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now I could do, say, my reverse turn, okay? And off I go. So essentially, you get to cancel out one of the most fundamental basic steps if you're bored dancing it. Because honestly, as you get better, you don't do change steps anymore, you get rid of those. But natural turns, reverse turns, those are your bread and butter. If you can't do a natural turn or a reverse turn, you're in a world of trouble. Because, you know, hesitation change. The first half's a natural turn, right? So anyways, lots of technique, lots of things for you to think about, but here's what you take away from today. Practice your heel pull together or by yourself. And then after the whisk and chasse, notice that to go into it, we start the natural turn outside our partner, all right? So that's, your natural turns can be done outside or in line, that's fine. So if I'm outside Brittany, nothing changes. The only thing is, just make sure ladies, you turn your toe in just a little bit to aid in the natural turn, because turn your foot out, yep, she hates me today. She does not like me very much, right? But look at that, what are we doing? Like jujitsu, right? So no, we have gotta turn the toe in a little bit so I can swing around you for the natural turn part and then we're back together, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. I want to thank Brittany. Hope you enjoyed that little bit of technique. To me, that's all the things you want to think about at your level, uh, especially, I'm assuming you've danced before, or you haven't danced that much, and this is new information. But piece together each one of these videos. You can see, step by step, how we've built this. And then, once you know the pattern of this, and you never have to think about it again, and you know the timing, and you never have to think about the timing, and you understand your footwork, your heels and toes, you are in a beautiful position to actually develop your swing, to develop your movement. You should always try it, but it's too hard. If, like, if I don't know how to speak French and I go there and I try to have a conversation, it's just not gonna work, right? I have to have some foundations, okay? Uh, otherwise, I just use Google Translate. But we don't have dance Google Translate, right? We gotta do it ourselves. So focus on those elements, pattern, footwork, timing, and then as that comes together, check out my other videos on where I talk about swing, or I break down steps a little bit further to help you understand how do I make the most of my dancing now. Outside of that, you got a lot to do. So I look forward to seeing you back here. Make sure you like and subscribe, share this with your friends. It's been a pleasure having you. It's been a pleasure working with you, Brittany. Please enjoy as you master the art of ballroom and Latin dancing. Thank you.